building your business part-time, building your real estate investing business part-time. How do we do it, Tom? Yeah, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? <laughs> Here we go. You know, I, I, I'll tell you, first of all, uh, a lot of coaches out there, what they talk about is, you know, scrimp and save and, and put a little thing together in your bank account and then when you equal like, you know, one year or three years or 15 years of income. I like that idea. I like that idea. It's safe, right? It definitely keeps us coaches safe with the attorneys, right? Hell yeah, you know, I didn't tell him to quit his job, you know. But here's what you, I'm, I'm gonna get down to the brass tacks. I'm gonna get down to the nuts and bolts for the, for the people who wanna go out there and crush it and actually get some real life changing results, right? Because you're either gonna be great at real estate investing or you're gonna stink. And I wanna, I wanna, I wanna have you hit that bottom real quick. So I'll tell you for me, Brent, in my own, personally, my own personal journey, when I was a lawn care guy and my brother was calling me and he's like, Tom, you gotta get into wholesale. You gotta get into real estate investing. I'm making so much money. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do it, but I was making $55,000 a year as a lawn care guy. I'm not doing that, right? So I never got one deal, zero. And then one day, it was my wedding anniversary, Julie and I, I was had my feet up on the desk and I was researching restaurants to go out to dinner that night because I was a last minute anniversary present guy. And uh, I am looking for it. I had my Tommy Bahama socks on up on the desk and the vice president of sales and the regional manager walked in and they shut the door and I lost my job. And then by some miracle, she's gonna say there, you save for 15 years and a day and then when you have that in the bank, then I'm gonna tell you, if you wanna get it, you go after it right now. Those J-O-Bs are gonna be waiting for you. They love hiring you. They wanna hire you. They want you back. So I would suggest that there is no time management there is only priority management. Now, if that's too risky for some of you guys, you can keep your job, but let me give you another piece of opposite advice than what everybody else teaches. When you're at your job, you be at your job. You have a moral and ethical obligation to be there. That owner, that just like you wouldn't want your employees getting a paycheck and focusing on something else, when you're in the room, you be in the room, right? You're, you give your heart and soul and you, your work, that sweat equity to that company. And then before that starts and when the day is over, uh, then you go and you work on your real estate career. But don't try to take time away from what you're getting compensated to do in order to build your real estate business. You gotta be laser focused at work. If someone's compensating you to do something, you gotta give it 110%. So my advice is this. If you really want to find out if you are good at this and you want to know if you're good at it and you want to make it work and find out in a short amount of time, quit your job and go all in. Sell your silly television and couch for marketing dollars because that's not bringing you any value. And always remember this, guys. If you don't have it, and I, this is another piece of advice right, that nobody wants to hear, but this is true. If you don't have it, you don't want it bad enough. That's the truth. If you don't have it, you don't want it bad enough, so you gotta go out there and make it happen. There's no time management. The same amount of time that Brent and I have been on this, pot, on, this, on this video has been the same amount of time for you guys. There is only priority management. This is why Tony Robbins, as great as he is, he can't hold a candle to kidnappers. Kidnappers understand real motivation, right? They will, they will make it happen, right? Because so, so I just want to encourage you that if you really want to go for it, go for it and, and you know, take a risk, I, you know, take a chance. And if you want to blame me for telling you to do that, you could do that. Blame me because I know that the students who hit rock bottom, if you said, Tom, what is the commonality? You took your top 100 students. They were the most hungry. They were the ones who wanted it the most. They were the, there was nothing to stop them. They would wake up early. They would skip breakfast and lunch. They would work late. They, nothing, if I, if I flew to their territory, stood in their doorway and tried to stop them, they would have punched me and went past me and went and got a deal. They didn't have time for breakfast and, and they didn't have time for friends and clubs and, and going out on the weekends at bars or whatever everybody else is doing. They locked themselves in a room, they were totally OCD, totally obsessed, and they made it happen. What we do, Brent, you know this, right? What we do is so easy, right? It's so easy, but it's a numbers game. 
Most people don't want to sell their home. Most homeowners don't want to sell their home. The homeowners who want to sell their home, most of them don't want your low price. This is a numbers game. There's nothing scientific about this. Whoever gets the most results is going to win. It's so easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Don't overcomplicate it. Just go out and get it. So make a decision to leave your job or try to work your job 110% and then leave enough energy, time, attention, focus, discipline for this. But either way, you, you, you got to make it, uh, you got to, you got to make it happen.